Hi guys, it's Renee. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because it is Halloween and we get to do the first of our month of Halloween videos. So I'm so, so excited about this. It's really so fun. I love Halloween makeup. It's one of the things that you can just do whatever you want and there's just really no boundaries to it. So I love it in that respect and you can just be anything you want to be for that particular time, which I absolutely love. So we are going to get on it. So I'm trying out a voiceover for this one um, to see if it works. He's hoping so. We are going to become a leopard. <sighs> yes, I'm five years old. So stick around and we will get started. Okay, so first of all, we're going in with primer from Australis. So it's his original primer putting it all over my face to make sure we have a really good base. Prior to doing this you can if you want put in contact lenses for a cat eye look. I'm petrified of putting anything in my eyes like that and I can't touch my eyeball so I'm not putting contacts but if you do do it before you do any further makeup or primer so your hands are clean. So next we're going with the scotch tape so we're going to do a little bit of a winged out cat eye look so we are going to go right under the lash line um, of your bottom lash and secure that in place and just stick that down just to make sure it's nice and firm. So next we're going in with the e.l.f. shadow lock primer for eyeshadow. So we're going to put that all over my lid just to make sure that the shadow doesn't budge and it sticks well to my eyes. So there'll be no creasing or anything like that happening, which is always a good thing. And then we're going to blend that in. So we're going in with the Matte Bronzide Girl Palette from Australis with the lightest shade. So this is our base, so we're going to go all over the eyelid, up to the brow bone, just to make sure we have a really nice base for the colours. Um, yeah, so that we can get that down and it's quite neutral as well. Um, so that is a good start for this one. So yeah, so we're just packing that on to make sure that we have a nice firm base. So next we're going in with the third shade um, on the top and we're going in with our crease. So this is the transition shade so it's not meant to be dark so it just wants to transition the shadows gradually up there um, so it's not so heavy. So we're doing that on both eyes with the exact same shade. So next we're going in with the lightest on the bottom, um, which is like a dark chocolatey brown. So that's also going to be a transition shade. So that's going up in my crease all the way along as well. So we're making sure to also hit where the scotch tape is to make sure we get that cat eye effect. So we're going in now with our bronzers Chi Chi palette. Um, and we're going to go in with a bronzy colour. They don't have names. So I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it's this burnt orangey bronzy colour um, that we are going to go just on the outer V with a fluffy brush. It's a blending brush, um, so we don't want to go too far. It's purely just the outer V, just to give it a little bit of depth. So next colour, I don't know why I did this, it is going to be like a black colour. It's got a bit of a shimmer in it. So we're going into the corner V, you want to make sure you hit the cello tape and kind of make a cat eye um, to make sure it does that and that kind of wings out a little bit. So you don't want it too dark. You can do it as dark as you want, but for me, I didn't want it overly dark. I wanted more of a charcoal colour. So we're just blending that through because you want to blend it well just to make sure that it looks really nice. So next we're going with a gold colour for all over the lid with a flat brush. So I'm really packing that on, but I'm doing it lightly. So I'm doing little bits at a time so that we don't get too much. Um, so it is pretty pigmented though. So we're packing it on to both eyelids, um, making sure to kind of get that in there. Next I'm going in with my BYS pencil in black, well it's a felt tip liner. Um, so this is on my top 
lash lines. I'm going from the inner corner out. So we are going to do a wing. I'm terrible at wings. And it took me about five minutes to do each eye. So in the interest of, you know, people not being bored, we I didn't show you both of them. I just showed you me doing one. Um, <laughs> and then pretty much finishing up the other. You'll see they're not the best wings, but... You know, it's not really, it's not meant to be too perfect. So now I'm just curling my lashes because we will be using false lashes today. So I want them to blend a little bit better. So that's why they're curling them. We're going in with the Bonjour Beautiful and Full Mascara. So top lashes only. Um, and while they're just curled, so we're getting up all in there. So that they'll blend with the falsies that I put on a lot later. So you want to do a really nice coat and make sure it's dry before you put anything on top. So we're taking off the scotch tape. This hurts a little bit. Oh, look at that face and look at that redness. That's cool. Stella tape will hurt a lot more, so make sure it's scotch tape and it's translucent. So next we're going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Stick in 115. So this is a perfect shade for my skin tone. So it's not a full coverage foundation, but you don't want a full coverage foundation for this look because we're going to be using other colours. So I'm just pretty much just drawing all over my face. And then we're going in with the BYS Oval Contour Brush. Yes, it's not a foundation brush, but a contour brush. And we are buffing that into the skin. So I'm trying to buff it in just to give it more of an airbrush look. You can use any brush you want, but try to buff it to make sure it's more airbrushed um, instead of anything else. So you want it to like melt into your skin essentially. So next I'm going in with Conceal for Under My Eyes in Owl May. And the, it's the fair shade. So um, we're going under the eye. So it's a brush, but we just want to cover any imperfections and dark circles that may show through. So we're going through with the brush again and just brushing and blending that through the bottom um, to conceal anything. So we're going in with the AC Contour Australis palette in the cream contour. We're going in with the darkest shade in there. So this is the light palette. Um, so you're going to want to find your line you would normally contour and drag it down most of the way. So further than you normally would. Then you want to curve it down. Um, and then you want to curve it underneath your chin. So you want to create like and nourished face shape if you do see me looking down because I'm looking at a picture of a leopard to create the shape that I want and then you go probably about two th three quarters down the nose uh, for that part and just into the hairline don't make any of this too dark as of yet we're just sketching it out um, you can darken it up later if you so wish just make sure it's not too dark at this point because you can always darken it but it's harder to lighten it so we're going to do the muzzle. So we want to curve this around. So you want to go from nearly the corner of your eye, just a little bit further down, to the corner of your lips. So your mouth, so it connects there. So you want to make sure this line is not blended out all that much. So now we're just filling in the spaces that we want the contour in to make sure we have enough colour spreading through there to make that colouring. So I'm just pretty much curving out that face shape and I'm just referring to the thing. So there was a bit of a circle on the leopard's face between the eyes so I decided to put that in as well just to give it that definition. Going in with this over one again and we're just buffing this into the skin. So you really just want to buff any of this in. You don't want to do much else. Um, so buff it so it kind of like melts. So you've got to be really good at blending. So practice your blending because you don't want to see any harsh lines. Um, but you do want to see a definition line, just not anything harsh. should be soft. So keep going until you're happy. So I'm doing the middle part, dragging it down my nose. Nose you don't want to be too dark, so that's why you want to drag that one down. 
and then drag the line out. So you want to drag this line from the muzzle out towards your cheeks and up into everywhere else. You don't want to go in. So we're just stacking it up because we want it a little bit darker. So we're just going in with the same colour just to do some darkening. So as I said, you can always go darker, you can't go lighter. So just do it gradually until you get the shade you want. For me, this is probably the maximum I would go. Next we're going in with the NYX white base and with a little very cute blending sponge. So this is a little bit more precise. So you want to get into the white parts only that don't have the bronzy contour and you want to dab on the white. It doesn't matter what white you use as long as it's white. So um, this mixed with the foundation goes a bit of a creamy colour which is what you want. It's not meant to be stark white but it'll just blend in really nice and turn into like a cream colour which you'll see a little bit later once it's all blended properly. So make sure you go over your lips. You really want to make sure you go your lips as well up into your nose. So you want to go up the sides there and over the front. Don't go over that muzzle line that you drew um, but you can sharpen that up if you accidentally do go over it but try not to because we still want that definition muzzle line and just blend it through into the white a little bit just so it doesn't look like a harsh line. So yep, so we're just blending that through. Okay, next we're going in with the e.l.f. translucent powder. We want to pat that all over the face. It was a bit powdery. So this is going to also turn that white um, into a little bit of a creamy colour and it's going to set everything in place so it doesn't move. Next I'm going in with my NYX lip liner in black. Don't know why I didn't show you to begin with. So I'm just outlining my nose with the shape of the leopard, for the leopard's nose. So you want to come up fairly thin on the sides into like a cupid's bow. Mine's a pretty dodgy cupid's bow. So you can do it with a little bit um, more definition or less. And then I'm just filling that in just to make sure that we've got that all in there. So we're now going down the filter arm into the cupid's bow, straight down your lips and doing a little bit of a blending with a little V right there at the filter arm. And there's Titty saying hey and line in the middle of your lips. And yep, Titty wanted to kiss. <laughs> so next we're going to line the bottom lip. So you want to go from the corner to corner in black. So we're still going in with that black NYX lip liner. For the top, you want to go halfway down your natural lip line. So you don't want to go your natural lip line. So halfway down your lip because we want that puffy look for um, the muzzle um, because you want to look like a 3D puffy. And you just sharpen the edges just to make sure they look a little bit more smiley. Going in with Blue Lips from Australis in Melbourne. It is a black, it's a jet black colour, so it's a really good one for this. So make sure you don't exceed on the top lip that lip line you drew because you don't want to go all the way up because you still want to keep that puffiness. Because without that puffiness, it doesn't look like a 3D muzzle, people. Next, we're going back in with my BYS felt tip liner to draw some whisker points dots um, so I'm just going lightly here just to make sure I'm happy with the placement and yep looks pretty good to me so I'm going in with a little bit darker you can do as many or as few as you want it's really up to you on this one next we're going back in with the matte bronze eyed girl from Australis palette and that color which is like the third nearly the darkest. I'm using an irregular shaped shading brush to do the dots on my face for the leopard print um, spots. So you don't want something that's perfectly round, you want something that's a bit of an irregular shape. So you place them wherever you want. This is really up to you where you prefer to place them. And then I'm going in with a smaller pencil brush to do smaller dots to fill in some spaces. Also for under my eyes a little bit and the bridge of my nose where they're a little bit more faint. 
So I'm also doing some on the collarbones. As you can see, I don't think it really looked <laughs> that great on me, but if you probably had better, more protruding collarbones, probably look great. So it's really up to you whether how far down you go with the spot. Next I'm going in with the Essence Duo. I'm using black only. So I'm using a tapered tip concealer brush. Um, using the tip I'm outlining the dots so that I did. So you want to do like C shapes, V shapes, like brackets where they, they don't join. You don't want them to join all the way around. Um, you just alternate your shapes to outline those dots to get the leopard appearance. So we're doing that all over the face. And then I'm just using the very, very tip for the finer details, for the fine dots that I had, like for under my eyes. And the last place I'm doing is the bridge of my nose because that's where the least amount of shadow I want is because it's a little bit more sparse. Next we're going in for the brows with the Maybelline Satin in Dark Blonde, I believe. So we're just doing the gel crayon on my eyebrows and just filling those in. And then we're going in with the powder to set it in place so that it looks all great. Next we're going with lashes. Yay! So I did terrible at this. It took me about 20 minutes to apply these lashes, hence why it probably looks a bit weird how I've edited it because it was just hitting me. So this is me struggling. I think this is my third attempt for that one eye. And with the second set. And they are my tweezers for eyelashes. It's got a little thing on the bottom where you can like press it on. So I've just got my BYS pencil just cleaning up the felt tip, just cleaning up any spaces with the felt that I need and then going in at the corner of the eyes to do more of a sharp edge down there onto the nose from the corner of the eye to give it more of a cat-like appearance. So we're just drawing that lightly in there and going a little bit under the eye. We're now going to go in with the Colourpop Swerve, so it's a black eyeliner, gel eyeliner, on the waterline to connect it and that'll give us that really nice cat eye. That is the look of makeup all complete. So this jacket we have here is got from Torrid in the US. It's $50. They do have it still available. So if you want it, um, as I've made this video, it was still available. So yeah, if you do want it, order online. It comes in a 1 slash 2x, which is what I'm wearing. 3 slash 4x, which is the next size up. So yeah, so it's a really cute, really warm, and it comes with the pads, and it perfectly offsets this look. we're done so this is my leopard look complete with a really cute costume so thank you so much for joining me today for this halloween makeup video um if you did enjoy this video give us a thumbs up if you're not already but you like to be you can hit subscribe down below subscribe to my channel we have more halloween makeup coming up soon so i hope everyone has an amazing weekend and i'll see you all again later bye